In the previous chapter, I presented the zoom function and how to use it with the mouse wheel and control key. In relation to this, I'd like to show some extra features for zoom and navigation within the timeline. And so we come to another great way of jumping to a specific position on the timeline. And this is done by also using a combination of the keyboard and the mouse. In this case, I will use the shift key. And in doing so, by holding it down whilst using the right mouse button, a frame appears. And we can also see a magnifying glass icon at the mouse pointer, which implies a zoom function. As long as the right mouse button is held, I can draw an area using this frame. And when I let go of the mouse button, we zoom in to show the contents of that frame. Using this allows me to locate and zoom quickly at a specific timeline location. So when I want, say, from here to here to be enlarged, then that area is indeed zoomed into. We do have to be aware of one thing, however, and I'll show it now. After having used the previous method to zoom to a section, if I then use the mouse wheel to change my position in the timeline, I'll do that by moving the wheel up, then my timeline view jumps to a different location. And the reason it does this is because of the position cursor. So that's one thing to remember. I'll zoom out by clicking here and zoom to a specific location again. So shift button held and then right mouse button. And now I have zoomed this area. To avoid the issue we had before and to allow me to work in this region, then I should also click here in the time scale to position my cursor here. And then when I change position using the mouse wheel, the screen doesn't jump to another location as it previously did. To change the timeline view, especially when working in a higher zoom setting, I can use the slider here beneath the timeline. But there is also another method to do this. Again, this method uses a held key and the mouse. And the key to hold down is the Alt key. And then by clicking in the timeline with the left mouse button, I can drag the screen using this hand icon that appears to the desired position without having to use the scroll bar below. Again, when you reach the position you want to be at, then it is worth remembering to click in the timeline to position your cursor here too, so that you do not lose your screen location for editing or viewing when using the mouse wheel to move through the timeline.